Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. Robert Norman asks, how do I get a 1920 by 1280 timeline to print to video on a Sony HDV deck? All attempts to conform to 1440, 1080 or wait three hours while the timeline compiles only to get a message window that says this timeline will not work for HDV is enough to drive one to moving in front of large moving buses. What do I do? Well, here's my philosophy. We're going to talk about this because a lot of questions on exporting and compression are where we're headed next. You always, always, always export to match the sequence that you edited. And what I recommend, and you're going to have to take my word for it because I don't have time to back it up, but I go into it in more detail in my webinars, is you go to File, Export, QuickTime Movie. It's the highest quality and it's the fastest. File, Export, QuickTime Movie. You give, this a te uh, you give this a name, you give it a location. I'm going to store it to the desktop. I almost always export to a second drive, but because this is quick, I'm going to do it to the desktop. Exporting to second drives are always safer and faster. You want to make sure setting remains at current setting. You want to make sure make movie self-contained is checked. This is a change of opinion of, that I've gone through over the last couple of years. In the old days, when we archived on tape, a reference movie made a lot more sense. Now that we're so focused on tape less, reference movies have very limited value. I recommend you always export as a self-contained movie. And you click Save. It now goes through and it exports that whole project. takes about five or six seconds. We'll hide this. And there's my movie. I then take my movie and drag it into Compressor and have Compressor transcode it. Now I've got a whole webinar on transcoding, so it talks about how to convert from one format to another. And your best option is Compressor. So I'm going to set a standard layout. There's Compressor. I'm going to import my clip. And the key thing to keep in mind about compression that drives everybody nuts. So let me just make this really, really clear. You don't care what the format of the source file is. You only care about what the format of the final output is. You can have high def, standard def, no def, in between def. F compressor will figure out what the source format is. Your sole responsibility is to tell Compressor how you want it what final format you want it converted into. So I want to convert this into HDV. So I type in HDV. I want it to be 1080i60. I want stereo audio. Okay, you edit the video as you would normally. You export as a self-contained QuickTime movie under current settings. You grab the HDV setting, drag it on top of that movie, and compress it it will automatically convert that into an HDV file, a fully featured, fully compatible HDV file. You then switch back to Final Cut. You create a brand new sequence that's set for HDV. Import that compressed file into your HDV sequence and you're able to lay it off to tape. So it's three steps. Export to match your current settings. Transcode, which is simply a fancy word that means convert, transcode inside Compressor into the HDV that you want or whatever file format you want to transcode into. And then you create a new HDV sequence, import that clip into that new sequence and lay it off to tape. This is the fastest because Compressor transcodes far faster than Final Cut. It's the highest quality because Compressor does a better job than Final Cut. And it keeps your work inside Final Cut really simple because you're either editing your source format or you're editing HDV and you're not having to mess around with anything in between. If you need more help on transcoding, take a look at that webinar I did a little bit ago on how to transcode your video. It'll walk you through a lot of different steps and explain how Compressor works and, and describe the interface. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.